In this video, we'll take a quick look at documenting your work in Alteryx. Although you may have finished the workflow, this video demonstrates documentation steps on a partial workflow as it existed after step 9 in the base case instructions. You have already learned one documentation tool that helps organize your workflow, containers. Let's add the filter tool to its own container. Since the tool is already highlighted, Right-click and select Add to New Container from the list. Name this container Separate Assets by Type, Personal Property, and Real Property. Containers with custom headers help you, as well as reviewers, understand what the workflow within the container is trying to accomplish. Let's learn two additional examples of documentation you can add to your workflow. First, browse tools located on the In-Out menu help reviewers and colleagues quickly verify the data transformations for each step of a workflow. Second, comment tools on the documentation menu can be used to label steps and describe the data transformation occurring in each step so that reviewers and colleagues can quickly understand the purpose of each tool. I will demonstrate the process of adding comment tools to label steps. Navigate on your workflow until you can see the input tool for the fixed asset list, and then drag a comment tool onto your canvas above the input data tool. In the text box, type step 1, and then resize the comment box. We can repeat this process, or we can copy and paste the comment tool by right-clicking on the comment box, and then selecting Copy, and then right-clicking again and selecting Paste. We can then move it where we would like and relabel it to Step 2. We can also copy and paste the comment tools using our Control-C or Command-C if you're using a Mac, and Control-V or Command-V keyboard shortcuts. Good job! Containers, browse tools, and comment boxes can be valuable tools to help you organize your workflow so that it can be easily understood by you, colleagues, reviewers, and clients.